Dealing with the heat in the Weather Center, checking in with that meteorologist Mariel Ruiz probably saw me uh, going behind Cleo Green uh, in that shot on accident when I was oh, yeah, I did not so excited that. to go over here and talk to Mariel. <laughs> um, but we're talking about air quality yeah. too because of the, the heat too. Yeah, this time of the year, Matt, we definitely need to take a look at air quality because that's when we tend to see kind of lowered levels. And this is what we're dealing with today. Today we're under an orange that is two steps below good air quality. So it's uh, technically called unhealthy air quality for sensitive groups. So sensitive groups mean people that have respiratory issues. So if you are in this category, you may want to limit your time outside. And this is why this happens this time of the year. We have a lot of emissions. Well, we have that year round right from motor vehicles, factories, all of that released into the air. But this time of the year specifically, we generally deal with a lot of high pressure and high pressure causes air to sink. And when air is sinking, it traps all of those emissions at the surface. Well, because of that, uh, we're going to see higher levels of pollution. Now consider this. We also have light winds. Those are unable to really spread around all of those particles. So again, they're staying trapped at the surface that with sunlight and added heat actually causes a chemical reaction that increases the production of ground level ozone. Now ozone is actually something that is super beneficial to us in the stratosphere when we can't breathe it in. It actually helps protect us from the sun, but at the ground level, it can actually be toxic which is why we're saying if you do have respiratory issues, you may want to limit your time outside and this won't improve until our winds pick up, which likely won't happen until over the weekend, Cleo. All right, Marielle, thank you.